I'm sitting at the local pub in Fish Raven called the Blue Roof. We had dinner here last night and we're back for an, an ice cold glass of water and a beer in a bit after a very long hard day in the hot sun working on the land. We have finally managed to clear it. It's now void of any stumps and any Port Jackson that's been sprayed with a herbicide. And all that needs to happen is the massive pile of rubble and a brush that's been removed needs to, of course, be taken to the dump site. Luckily, a, a local neighbor, a nice guy called Tony, has come along and he's quoted us. So next week, he'll be hauling that away. And yeah, we're feeling a bit um, a bit exhausted, but quite quite pleased that it's all done. Um, we um, we arrived and I issued a, a rake to both Tamlin and Tate and said, you guys are not going to sit around. I'll be the supervisor this weekend and you're going to work with our, our wonder team of Malawian guys. So they both got stuck in and did, and did, did their show this weekend. So, yeah. What are you doing, Tate? Are you digging in the ground? And is it hard? Are you still working? Okay. Are you so strong? Can you show mommy how strong? Wow. Are you raking the plants? So with the Port Jackson uh, invader wood on the land, what we didn't realize is it has this massive network of roots that, that form this spider's web underground just below the surface. So it proved to be a little bit harder than we thought. Uh, I thought that it was going to be one or two days with the work with a couple of guys helping. Uh, it's turned into four or five days with massive teams. Yesterday we had seven, today we had four more. Uh, absolutely a real fight but we i think we've won the fight so we're feeling pleased about that we just have to haul this massive pile which i think we've taken about a dozen trailers um three meter by two meter trailers of loads to the dump site already and now just to avoid having to hire a trailer and do it again and, and come out here have a fuel expense and all that we've we've hired a local person to do to take the, the stuff for us and then yeah the next step will be to put the poles in the ground and build a fence so that might happen hopefully in december a few obstacles to overcome first so our reward for this hard work is an ice cold beer here at the blue roof pub which we're uh, slowly becoming locals of what i really like is when i order a winter gear you get a man size one and i don't feel guilty having it because i feel like i've earned it and uh, yeah, Tamlin's sitting there with a, a Savannah or a Hunters or something like that. And Tate's going to have his rooibos tea because that's all he gets at his age. But uh, yeah, cheers to everybody. And uh, thank you to all the neighbors for getting involved and being so friendly and, and helpful. We'll be living here soon, sooner than you think.